Hello everyone, welcome to FK Studios and today I will be showing you how to make an Apple ID if you don't already have an email address and we will be creating an iCloud email. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So we will make an Apple ID and to make that you will need to open the settings app which is a grey coloured app on your home screen. Now you need to click on the sign into your iPhone button in blue on the top and click don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. Next click create Apple ID. Now you will need to give in your first name, your last name and your date of birth. Now you need to click next once you are finished. Now you will need to click do not have an email address to create a Apple ID iCloud email. Now you will click get an iCloud email address. And now you will need to enter the name which you want before your email address. For example, fk.studios at icloud.com. And now you will need to click next up in the corner and create email address. So now you will need to create a password and it needs to be a strong password with a minimum of eight characters. So you will need at least one capital, at least a number and at least one symbol and it has to be eight characters long and now you need to click next in the corner like before. And now I will ask you for a phone number so this is if you already have a phone number in this phone you will click continue or if you don't you can use use a different number or it might ask you for your number if you don't have one before. Now the terms and conditions are just telling you that you are not allowed to misuse this iPhone and you are just allowed to use it for yourself personally and for your company and you can read them if you want and it's a bit long but I'm just going to go ahead and click agree and you can also get them sent to your email so it might take a while to sign in to your new Apple ID account and you're going to click allow for your location so it knows which region you are in and now it's going to give me an Apple ID verification code, which I will need to remember. It might take a while. So now I'm just waiting for it to complete. And now you will need to enter your phone passcode. Even if you have Face ID, you will still need to enter your passcode. Now I will ask you if you want to merge your data and you will need to merge if you want access to iCloud features and if you want to back up on iCloud. And if you click don't merge, then you won't get access to features of iCloud so you will need to click merge if you want to use iCloud and all of its features so now ladies and gentlemen as you can see you have created your Apple ID and this verification code isn't really necessary so you can just click OK and now if you click iCloud 
you can see that all of these are checked and I'm just going to uncheck them and it's going to say delete on iPhone so yes you can click delete from my iPhone because you don't have any data and it's not going to delete it from your phone it's just going to delete it from iCloud which we don't need because it's taking up storage in iCloud and I'm just unchecking the unnecessary items which I do not require to be backed up on my iCloud which are not important to me so I'm going to uncheck all of those because I do not need them on my iCloud click manage storage then you can also click change storage plan and here as you can see you can upgrade your plan and you can buy more so you can get 99 cents per month for 50 GB and to get 200 GB you can pay 2.99 per month and so on and on the prices are really cheap if you want to upgrade so now if I want to change my name, my phone number or email, I can just come here and do it. So as you can see my name is FK Studios and for my password and security that is where I will be able to change my password and set up two-factor authentication which will just send a code to your phone number. And payment and shipping usually means that if you add a payment method or a shipping address for this Apple ID when you go to a payment checkout on online websites. So as you can see that is my Apple ID FK Studios and if I want to change the profile picture I can just click on the FS in grey on top. And I can choose to take a picture or I can just take and click choose picture and I can choose a previous picture which I have downloaded or which I've already taken a picture of and now as you can see I have created my Apple ID and if you wish to sign out this Apple ID and log into a new one we're just going to click your Apple ID and click sign out it will ask you for your password which you will need to enter and once you enter your password you just need to click turn off and voila you have just signed out of your apple id and you will need to sign in once more with another apple id or the same one and just before it signs out it's gonna ask if you want to keep a data of this on your iphone before you sign out and just to let you know if you sign out of your apple id your phone data will not be lost and even if you sign out it will all be there and you can just sign in again and the data will be there ready waiting for you and you will not need to worry now at the end i'd like to thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to this channel if you're new give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family if you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and hope you have a nice day